Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Yeah, that's the New Day music. New Day split up in the draft. Here's how I'm going to get started on this. This is who has been drafted thus far. Basically, what they do for the draft is on Friday, everybody becomes a free agent. And then each side takes turns picking some people. And the storyline is that Raw gets three picks for every two picks that SmackDown gets. Because Raw is three hours and SmackDown is two hours. Now, tag teams can go as one pick. So the very first, the very first round of picks... Raw took the Hurt Business and two other individuals. SmackDown got their two picks. So in the very first round, Raw got six individuals and SmackDown got two. Let's not think too much about this. They announced, which makes no sense officially, if this were real, that if a champion gets drafted, the belts go with them. So, I mean, one brand could just draft all of the champions and leave the other brand with no champions. Of course, amazingly, that did not happen. Although I should note that a bunch of random individuals got picked before the WWE Raw Women's Tag Team Champions. So whoever's drafting for Raw thought that random individuals were more important than their own tag team champions. But anyway, Raw, after Friday night, has Drew McIntyre, Asuka, all four of the Hurt Business, AJ Styles, Now he can go watch his son play football. Naomi, women's tag team champions Shayna and Nia, Ricochet, I don't know why they bothered, Mandy Rose, Miz and John Morrison, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, the SmackDown tag team champions. They have just won the titles, which means that at this point, Raw has both sets of tag team champions. Dana Brooke, Angel Garza, Umberto Carrillo, Drew Gulak, again, why do they bother, and Tucker. So that is the Raw roster as of right now. For SmackDown, we have got Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks, Bianca Belair, Jey Uso, Ray and Dominic, Big E, Otis, Murphy, and Kalisto. Okay? So a few notes, obviously. The Miz and Morrison versus Otis storyline. They have not even gone to court yet. I guess the only continuation of the storyline, besides the continuation of the trial, will be who gets the briefcase. According to the storyline, they can no longer have matches. They can no longer square off against each other. It's done. Heavy machinery has been broken up. They're finished. As of now... Naomi is on the opposite brand as her husband. Although, as noted in the opening segment, it really doesn't matter because nobody's touring. But that could mean that her husband is going to Raw and the Usos are going to break up. I guess we'll find out. And the biggest thing is, everybody involved in the Rey Mysterio storyline, it's now on SmackDown. Murphy's there. The Mysterio family. I presume Ali has been drafted. They're all over on SmackDown now. You will no longer see this storyline on Raw. Which probably was a call by Fox, but I cannot confirm that. So this coming Monday, here is the draft pool. Here is who is eligible on Monday. Andrade, Bailey, Alistair Black, Alexa Bliss, Daniel Bryan, Carmella, King Corbin, Apollo Crews, Nikki Cross, Dabakato, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, Elias, Eric, Lacey Evans, Charlotte, Jeff Hardy, Billy Kay, Lana, Keith Lee, Riddick Moss, Natalia, Titus O'Neil, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, Truth, all of Retribution, which in storyline, if you draft them, SmackDown, You're a bunch of idiots. Matt Riddle, Riot Squad, Peyton Hoyce, Arturo Huas, Sheamus, Nakamura and Cesaro, Street Profits, Braun Strowman, Lars Sullivan, who returned on SmackDown, Tamina, Kirtizawa, Zelina Vega, Bray Wyatt, and Sami Zayn. If you do not get drafted, they say, you are a free agent. Apparently, Chad Gable is a free agent because nobody wanted him, either on SmackDown or in the supplemental draft the next day on Talking Smack. He's just a man without a home. So, there you go. Now, here's the point of all of this. So, they have announced next week it's Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. 
Now, at this moment, Braun Strowman is on SmackDown. But Braun Strowman was originally in the draft schedule to go to Raw, and he probably is going to Raw. All right? That's number one. Kevin Owens, on the draft episode of Raw, who is a Raw talent, wrestled The Fiend, who is a SmackDown talent, on Friday. Among the things they have announced for Raw are an appearance by Seth Rollins, who just got drafted to the other brand. Meaning, what we already have is we already have people from one show appearing on another show. And if Braun Strowman gets drafted to Raw, then in fact we will have another interpromotional match on SmackDown. And we have Survivor Series coming up, which in theory every year is an interbrand pay-per-view where they claim it is the one time per year that wrestlers from Raw and SmackDown are allowed to appear together on the same show. Some of you, I'm sure, and I'm sure it's a very small number now, maybe not because there's so many hardcores you just can't run off. Some of you are probably saying, it doesn't matter, Brian. Who cares? Well, this is why you should care. The draft edition of SmackDown on Friday night drew 2.087 million viewers. It was up a whopping 2.2% from last week. The show opened 2.156 million viewers. As they moved into the second hour with Sasha versus Bailey and the rest of the draft, they dropped to 2.017 million viewers. In the 18 to 34 demo, a 0.3 rating. In 18 to 49, a 0.6, which did beat everything on the networks. But the point of all of this is this show, this draft show, the draft used to always do a big number. And here we are. It did virtually the exact same number as a nothing happening show from last week. Why? Because they have killed the draft. They have killed the brand extension. And aside from the people that watch SmackDown every week, nobody who has stopped watching cared enough to come back to see who was what going who was going to be on which show. And it's exactly because of everything I just mentioned. Seth Rollins is already on Raw tomorrow. Braun Strowman is probably going to be a Raw guy tomorrow. He's going to be wrestling on SmackDown next week. We had Kevin Owens, a Raw guy, wrestling on SmackDown this week. Everybody knows that this draft is just something they do. They kind of stick to it. They find any excuse to put people on either show. And thus they have killed what used to be a good television ratings draw for them. The draft.